This video is to help you get started using R in Microsoft Azure Notebooks if you want to run it entirely through a web browser. So here I have my web browser open, and this is the textbook that I have open. So the first thing I'll do is click on the Microsoft Azure Notebooks link. I'll control click to open it in the new tab. I'll go to the top right where it says sign in. Now, if you don't have a Microsoft account yet, you can create one by clicking on that link. It's free, it's relatively easy. Uh, I do obviously have an account already, so I will log in to that. Um, and what you can do once you log in is at the top here where it says My Project, you can click on that. And then once you're in there, you see I, I have a project already, but if you don't, you can go over here where it says New Project, it has that big plus symbol. Uh, so you can give it a memorable name like Proj, um, don't need to read me. And then just hit that blue create button down there. So this has now created and automatically opened my project. So you can see we're in home, my projects Proj. Now within the project, we need to create a notebook. So we can go to this. Uh, plus button here, and there will be a drop down menu where you select notebook. And then in the create new notebook, first you want to make sure you select R as the language, not F sharp or something. Um, and then you can name it whatever you want, but it needs to end in I P Y N B. Tell it it's a notebook. And then hit that blue new button in the bottom right. And this will create your notebook and when you click on that file name it'll open the notebook and then you can finally start writing some R code. So here's a new notebook. You can click your cursor to the right of where it says in square brackets and then start typing in there. Uh, just to go a couple steps further, I'll show you from the empirical exercise. If you scroll down, here's this part from step A about installing and loading the Wooldridge package. So you can just copy that, highlight it, copy it directly from the PDF. Go over to the notebook, paste it in, and then to actually run the code, there's a few different things you could do. One that looks easy, so I'll do that to get it started running, is just where it says run and this button here, just click on that, and that'll get it started running. See there's that asterisk now that tells us that it's processing, and because I have not yet installed the Wooldridge package in this session. Uh, this could take a minute or two to do that installation. Um, so don't worry if, if you see that asterisk stay there for a while the first time. Um, that's, that's correct. Eventually when it's done, it'll turn into a number like one or two or three. Um, to run the code, you could also have gone up into the cell menu here selected run cells or something. Uh, I could also just with the keyboard hit, hold down the control key and then hit enter. Uh, if you're on a Windows machine, I assume on a Mac, it's probably command enter. Uh, all of those will get it to run. Uh, if you need to create a new cell, um, you can just go to insert in the file menu and then insert cell below. That'll create a new cell. So you can 
run the code just for a particular cell if you want to do it in different steps. So while it's still installing, we could copy the code from step B in the exercise into the second cell and copy the code from step C in the exercise into the third cell. We'll have that all ready to run as soon as this package gets installed. Uh, so you can see there's also this warning message here. Don't worry about that. That is just telling you that um, the Woldridge package was not previously installed. It says there is no package called Woldridge. And because of that, the way the, the code is written, don't need to worry about specifically how it works, but um, it triggers the installation and then it tells us, okay, it is installing the package into some directory. And then there's still that asterisk telling us it is still installing. Uh, so just to know after it installs the the question mark wine here is going to give us some information about a data set titled wine. When I run that, it'll pop up a little window at the bottom here uh, where it'll display some information. Um, in other cases, you'll run the code and the output will just be directly below your code in the notebook like it was uh, up here, there's the code, and then there's this sort of light pink background area where it gave us some output based on the code we ran. Uh, so there's different places. Or if you make a graph or a plot, that'll come up in a separate window also. So hopefully <laughs> this package is just about installed. This is a bit longer than it usually has taken in my experience, or maybe I'm just more impatient since I feel a strange obligation to continue this voiceover while it installs. Uh, but it should be done. There we go. So see the asterisk changed to a number one. Uh, no error messages. It seems like it installed properly. So I'll go down here, click into the next cell. This time I'll do control enter. See the asterisk pops up briefly and then goes away quickly because it's not installing something. But here it tells us about the wine data set within the Woldridge package, description, variables, some notes. Um, and other things. You can adjust how big that window is up or down. Um, and then finally for the next one, you'll know, run it from the cell menu and go to run cells to show you how that works. So again, turn into an asterisk, then a number three. In this case, the output is just right there in the notebook, not in a separate pane. So you can see the first uh, few, first several rows, uh, different, excuse me, variable names and values and all that. Uh, so hopefully at this point you can uh, just sort of keep following the different code and the steps and the empirical exercise and running those cells um, and you'll be good. If you do want to create another notebook, you can always go to File, New Notebook, select R, click on that. That'll just pop up a new notebook if you, for example, wanted a new notebook for each chapter's empirical exercises. You can change the title, just click on the title and uh, change it that way. But again, once it's open, you just type some code and then uh, hit control enter. It'll run it. You're good to go. All right. So I hope that was helpful and uh, good luck in your coding endeavors.